Hi everybody, this is Polly. Today's yoga sequence is especially for those of you guys who suffer from shin splints or any kind of knee problems, and I know so many people that do, and I myself suffered greatly from shin splints back when I was running, so I feel for you, and I hope that today's therapeutic yoga class will be a great benefit and hopefully a blessing to you, so that you can feel good, because that's what we're about, doing yoga, so that we feel good, okay? So we're going to come onto the floor. You notice I don't even have my mat with me today. This is just a really sweet kind of yoga class that you can do anytime, every day would be fantastic. And um, you can just see what you think. So go ahead and have a seat. I'm gonna be teaching you guys some principles of alignment that I learned through my Anasara different workshops and trainings and it's really been a benefit to my practice um, too. So go ahead and just come into a comfy seat at the beginning. We'll begin with a little bit of breath. So you can just close your eyes and enjoy the day and maybe this is your day off from your usual training or activity and um, that is something to be cherished because we need these days off enjoy the breath breathing in and then exhaling letting go of all tension worry or maybe even some frustration if you have an injury that you're healing Go ahead and open your eyes, and let's get started. So go ahead and bend your left knee and put your left foot in front of you like this. And we're going to start out with a little bit of knee therapy. So I want you to draw your toes in toward your knee like this, and that's actually really great for your shin as well. Maybe give yourself a little toe yoga, placing your fingers in between your toes. Yeah, and if you suffer from plantar fasciitis, this is great for you too. If you want to give yourself a little squeeze and a little rub for the bottom of your foot, that is really, really great. And then while your foot is flexing, go ahead and place your left hand on the outside of your left shin and your right hand on the inside of your right thigh or left thigh. So basically think shins in, thighs out. Never get those mixed up. So when you're here, we're gonna use our arms a little today. Press. So basically we're going in the opposite direction and this brings great alignment for the knee. And this is fantastic. If you run, if you're a big runner and you run almost every day, do this after you run and this will be great for protecting that knee joint and keeping injury away. So really press, don't be afraid to use those arms. And then release. Great, simple, huh? Other leg, go ahead, bring the right one up. And then again, go ahead and just draw those toes toward your shin. Yeah. Give yourself a little bit of toe yoga. Always fun if somebody comes in and asks you, what are you doing, mom or friend, sister, wife, <laughs> um, girlfriend, whoever you are, to your person that comes in the room. Just be like, I'm doing yoga. And then they'll roll their eyes and walk out of the room. <laughs> so go ahead and then kind of rub the bottom of your foot. Mm, so good. It brings a little circulation to the as well. Great. Now once that foot is flexing, remember shins and thighs out. Shin rhymes with in, in, so that will help. And press. The first time I learned this at an Anasara workshop, I was amazed. I thought, this is so simple, but so very effective. So pressing. Really, really use those arm muscles, guys. And then release. Great. And then we're going to go ahead and come onto our back just real quick. Hopefully, you're on a carpet or something. And squeeze those shins into the chest. Just a simple little back massage. And lower your left foot down. And then take the hands on that right shin. And just squeeze. And you can even run your fingers along the sides of that shin bone. And then right along the top as you kind of rub those hands upward toward the knee. Oh, if you suffer from shin splints, I understand. And then go ahead and straighten that right leg as much as you can. And right now I want you to think only about pressing your lower back into the floor and drawing your toes toward your knee. So just drawing those toes down. And if you don't feel this, I'll be surprised because this is really a lot for most people, including myself. And then after you there for a little bit, you can lower the arms. And then just simply write or draw your first name with your toes. I'm sure you've heard to do this, so I'm going to do that. P-O-L-L-Y. If you really want to be crazy.
crazy, you can draw your middle name and your last name as well, but for time's sake, we'll just do our first name. And then lower that right leg. And that's so healthy for those sore shins. And then go ahead and draw your left leg in. And then straighten that leg up. Good. Maybe give yourself a little hamstring stretch. And then draw those toes toward that knee or toward your belly. And then lower the hands and then write the first name of your best friend or your boyfriend or your husband. Make it fun. Let's see, I'll get away with an easy one. Dan, D-A-N. Good. And then lower down. Awesome. And then we're going to roll up. Just like so. And I want you to draw your feet underneath you. And we're going to come into our little squatty pose that I've taught a lot. And we're going to press down with the heels. This is great for Achilles tendons. And then now we're really going to dig into those shins a little bit and lift. So just kind of here we are drawing those toes basically naturally up because we're pressing down with the balls of the feet. Great. And then now we're going to basically come into a bent knee forward fold, which I've taught to you a lot if you've been doing my videos or my real classes here in my town. So draw your hips back and keep the knees bent. And we're going to come back to that principle of alignment again. First lift the toes, healthy shins, and now healthy knees. So shins and thighs out. Use those hands and press. Now at the same time we're pressing the shins toward each other, we're basically, they call it organically, like using muscular strength to pull the thighs away from each other. So can you do that? Really, really a lot of work here, but great for yoga therapy. Relax the head. And then release. And simply maybe straighten your legs. And then roll up. Oh, feels great. Now, go ahead and grab a blanket. I've got two more quick things to show you if I can make it in my 10 minute limit here. I want you to bring the blanket. And this is Abby's favorite one. I love it. It smelts my heart. She had it when she was a preemie in the hospital. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm stepping on it. That's a great mom, right? So go ahead and put the balls of your feet on your blanket. So here you are. And lift your toes. This is only going to add to your healthy knee yoga here. So lift the thigh bones off the kneecaps. Think about pressing the hips back and the shins toward each other as you fold from the waist, okay? So think about that. Lift and then Keep lifting the toes, fold from the waist. And you can keep your legs straight, cool, and hang as just as far as you can go. Oh, you're gonna feel this all the way up your shins. Healthy knee alignment still, shins and thighs out. If you wanna to add to this, you can kind of start to think about rolling the inner thighs onto the backs of the legs. Oh, that's a nice one. And then we're gonna simply roll up. And once you get up there, again, think, shins and thighs out, lift my quads, and maybe lift my toes and reach up. Good. And one last thing. Go ahead and come back down onto the ground. How much time do I have left, honey? One, two, two minutes? Okay, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna roll the mat like this. And now your legs are a little more awake, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to bring this, I still have to be my friend up for this pose, okay? And we're going to bring it down underneath, right up into where the crease is in the legs there. And then we're going to go ahead and sit back. <laughs> and this is great for yoga, for um, calf muscles and knees. And this is great because it adds just a little more of a stretch along the tops of those legs. And you can even make your mat or your blanket thicker and it's a little more intense. So I'm just gonna hang out here as I finish out. And you can even move it a little more to the middle of the calf muscle. And the longer you stay there, the more benefit you will get, okay? So pretty cool, some fun things you can do anytime for yoga for healthy shins and knees. <gasps> Something blew out the window. <laughs> All right, have a great day, you guys. Namaste.